Now the problem with trying to get somebody to exit low and left is that the majority of golfers struggle with reverse tilt and over the top. Okay, so if you're somebody who struggles with the reverse tilt, which is again the majority of golfers, which means you get to the top and then you fall back the opposite way. If you're falling back the opposite way, today's video we are going to talk about the idea of you exiting low and to your left. Why maybe you should, why you shouldn't, some of the benefits, some of the negatives that go along with that idea. Um, it's being pushed a lot on YouTube. Um, I teach it just a little bit. I think there's some better ways to do it. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about if this is something that you should concentrate on or if this is something that you should stay away from. As always, uh, we put our videos out every Tuesday and every Friday. Uh, make sure you subscribe, and if you hit the bell button, you'll see the notifications for those videos when they are posted. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you do so, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the content today. The idea of exiting low and to your left, okay, basically is, if you don't know what that means, is they, a lot of instructors are trying to get players to exit lower and more to your left, okay? What they are saying why it's good is because it's supposed to stabilize the club face, okay? If you swing way out to the right, just because of the forces, it causes your hands to really flip over, which isn't a bad thing for a lot of those people who tend to slice the ball a lot, right? And those who tend to exit more low and left, all right, the face will tend to stay a little bit more square, you hope, okay? Now the problem with trying to get somebody to exit low and left is that the majority of golfers struggle with reverse tilt and over the top, okay? So if you're somebody who struggles with the reverse tilt, which is again, the majority of golfers, which means you get to the top and then you fall back the opposite way. If you're falling back the opposite way, there's really no way to exit low and left, okay? Because you'll get wrong side and then you'll fall backwards and the only way to exit low and left is then to pull your arms across your body and hit some really weak awful slices so those weak awful slices we don't want those they don't go anywhere they're awful they're really hard to control the worst part is they just don't go anywhere and they go right all day long and they go high and short Okay, and again, remember, most of us struggle with the reverse tilt or coming over the top, right? So if you watch a YouTube video and they're like, yeah, we want you to exit low and left, but if your body is moving wrong or if you struggle with coming over the top, so if you're a player who struggles with coming over the top of the ball, you're already exiting low and left, and that's why you're watching videos trying to get better because you're slicing the ball off the planet, right? So the idea of exiting low and left for you it's pretty terrible. A lot of you who swing over the top and exit low and left, you'll even notice that your leg tries to get out of the way because you're exiting so low and so left. And if so if you're going, I need to exit low and left, and you're already a person who slices it, this is definitely not the move that you want to try to do. Okay? So if you want to exit low and left, all right, the first thing that you have to be able to do is shallow the golf club. Okay? So... If you get to the top and you're able to shallow the club out, all right, to exit low and left now, you have to turn a whole bunch. Right? You have to have a lot of rotation to do that. Most of us don't fit in that category. All right? It just doesn't work out well for us. We tend to pull our hands across and now we're still hitting these weak little slices and we're like, no, I thought I was shallow, I thought I was doing good. Okay, so if you get to the top and you're shallowing it and you're still trying to exit low and left, you should try to probably abandon that idea. Okay, um, I have taught some players to exit lower. All right? I've never taught them to exit insanely low because it's very hard to get somebody to do that. All right? So we got a few different types of exits. We've got the exit, which is really high and to the right which is going to be somebody who draws it, all right? More down the path, 
is going to be pretty straight, and then one who maybe is a little left. If you are somebody who is really stuck in your golf swing, sometimes it helps if you try to exit low and left because it causes you to rotate a little bit more, and so the club doesn't get thrown so high to the right because usually the path predicts the exit in the golf swing. Okay, so you might take that into account if you're somebody who really gets stuck and you throw that ball way out to the right, you hit lots of blocks, you might try to exit low and left. But really the whole main goal of this exit, this idea, is that stable club face, right? Stable club face on the way through. Okay, what does a stable club face look like? Basically when it finishes, right there we want it to almost be toe up, something like that. If it's like this, that ball's probably going to go to the right. If it's like that, it really depends on what impact looks like. Okay? So an easier way for you to get a stable club face is make sure that when you're coming through, if you haven't watched the stuff on tilting and extension on my last video, you should probably check that out because that's the whole idea of a stable club face is that when you come through, it should look very stable. So it should almost feel like that left arm is connected to your chest and it's a lot of tilting, turning, extending to keep it square. Okay, that is the goal, right? And that's basically, if you want to hit more greens, you need to have a stable club face, but there's other ways to do it besides the low left move because most of us can't do that. We don't fit into the category. We struggle with reverse fine tilt and we struggle with over the top. So make sure when you're watching those videos out there that you understand what they're trying to get you to do and where you kind of fall in that line of, Kind of mistakes right so i always try to teach you in a way that goes better with what you're trying to achieve a little bit easier and i know that most of us fall in these categories so exiting low and left is probably not the way that you want to go you want to work on shallowing the club and maybe even exiting more to the right because then your chest and the body won't be opening up as fast and you'll be more successful with striking the ball in the center of the club face hitting more greens, which is the whole goal to help you shoot lower scores. Uh, thanks for watching today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content.